The next snake I'm gonna go over is a hognose snake. So you have the eastern and western variants of the hognose snake. You got the western variant, which is tan, a couple of brown splotches and blotches. They're typically smaller than the eastern ones. Mia, go away. You also have the eastern hognose. This is gonna be probably a lot more colorful, bigger than the western. They're kind of a little bit fatter. This is the snake of all the Oklahoma non-venomous snakes that is most like a dangerous snake. I don't blame you if you think, oh, wow, that's a really dangerous snake. They really look like they could kill you, but they can't. Again, like the bull snake, it's all bark and no bite. They almost rarely bite people. They are venomous, but it's only venom to their prey. It's only venom that's going to be enough to you know, paralyze their prey. I mean, they eat mostly toads, and you don't need that much venom to kill a toad. And if it, the venom can only kill a toad, it can most definitely not harm you. So, the hognose snake. Qualities that make it look venomous. It does all sorts of things when it's frightened. It flattens its head out and makes itself look like a cobra. It's got a hood. Really looks very dangerous. It's not, I can assure you, you will be fine. If you go near it, it will not hurt you. Another thing that makes it look venomous is it's kind of fatter. It's got a little bit of a wider girth. It's just, it's not super long. It's kind of fat, like the vipers that I've told you about. This is a quality that makes them different than vipers though. They have an upturned snout, and I'll show you videos of one hognose that I found at Lake Arcadia before. So they're not that common here, but um, if you travel all around these counties, you'll probably find more if you get away from the metro area. Anyway, now hognoses also make a really loud hissing. They're constantly trying to make as much noise as possible for you to think that they're really dangerous for you to back off. It's all just a bluff. They're not actually dangerous. They also play dead at the very end of this entire sequence of events after they flatten their head, they start twitching their head, they do fake strikes without opening their mouths, they make a really loud hissing noise, and then they play dead. They just go completely still, completely limp, their mouth opens, their tongue starts hanging out of the side, and this is a very common thing done by a lot of hognoses. So these snakes put on the best show of any snake you'll ever find in central Oklahoma. So like I said a second ago, the hognose snake has some distinct features that you can 100% differentiate it from vipers. All right, the first one is the upturned snout. That's just, that's what's called a hognose. It looks like you know, a snout that a pig would have. Hognose also plays dead, as I mentioned before. Vipers do not play dead. And I forgot to mention also the hognose is through all these counties, so everybody you might have seen them in your yard. They're a little more uncommon than a lot of snakes, but just know what they look like. I'll put my photos of the Eastern hognose I found in my videos. Um, and yeah, so like I said, a hognose's favorite food is toads. I'm sure you've seen a lot of toads around your house if you live in central Oklahoma. Toads bring in predators that eat them, which includes hognoses. If you have a lot of toads, you'll probably have a couple of hognoses in your area as well. So, you know, after the videos, you can see distinct differences between them and vipers. Again, they don't have the pit. They don't have that pit hole right behind the nostrils that will indicate it's a viper. Copperhead differences. Copperheads are a lot bigger. Copperheads are definitely more brown and lighter brown. I don't know how else to describe them. They've got brown, I guess, Hershey Kiss patterns along this. And then... Hognoses have just blotches and spots. 